So somebody posted this comment that made me want to do this quick video about the upper 10 holes, thinking about second position. And this little track is in G. I'm just playing cross harp. But the scale works specifically as this major pentatonic thing. And these notes are luckily for a beginner player super approachable on the high end of the harmonica. They're not hard to hit. There's no bending. There's nothing special going on. So what's up, Jerry? And so like if you're not using the high end of the harmonica, most likely it's because you're having issues with technique or getting the sound to come out right on the top. And there's a 99.9% .9 chance that it's you and not the harmonica. So you got to figure out what's keeping you from playing uh, above hole six. All right. So before I just jump in and tell you these notes and play around with them and give you some ideas, why don't we just problem solve what's happening for most people, which is they're just, you're tightening up your lips. You're a little too tight typically right here with the embouchure, which is pinching that note and the air doesn't have a comfortable place to move. So you've got to just relax the lips, make sure your tongue isn't like straight up or something like that, where you could be causing the airflow to pinch as well. If the tongue is too far straight up, just relax. Basically to get these notes to come out, you need less air and the embouchure has got to be really relaxed. That's step one and two. Right on. <clears throat> this is my speaking voice for today. This is my no sleep voice is what this is. Okay, check it out. So we've got these notes. Let's play it on the bottom for the people that can bend. Just try this because most of this I'm going to just play stuff whole six through ten. So the scale we're talking about is two draw on the bottom, three draw full step bend, two, three draw, four draw, five blow, and six blow. This is in the video description if you need it. If you prefer three blow, th use three blow, that's fine. C harmonica. This is a really important scale to practice because when you're cruising around using the blues scale, you want to mix these two together. You want to get creative with other notes that you're bringing in, not just the, the blue scale notes. So thinking about this on the top, six blow, six draw, seven draw, eight draw, eight blow, nine blow. Just five notes you're working with there. Remember the first and the last note are the same note, just an octave apart. That's the G. So why would I throw this out as, you know, the starting point? Well, I find that when I'm playing around on cross harp up on the top of the harmonica, like the beginning of this little first minute or so of this stream here, that this scale, I mean, yeah, this is kind of a jazzier, the changes on this little track, but it's really easy to just take these scale notes. Try it with me. Just using the notes we called out. Play around with the scale, right? Okay. Pause this. So now, like, the for me, the way to get better, I, I recommend to students to take the scale, learn the scale in time, just practice the scale, just play the notes, tap in your foot. But then after that, after you've got the scale down, the key is to, you want to make it musical right away. So you put context to it and just, I like to turn on a track, um, and then work on various different timings, like double time the scale. You know, you could just play each note twice. <laughs> Try it. 
triplets. Alright, I messed up the last one, but you get the idea. You can play around with the timing. But really, where it gets interesting is taking this and chopping the scale into halves. You know, just playing, finding some looping ideas. I thought we could do a couple of these. Um, looping ideas, chopping the scale in half, get a loop or just at least a riff that, that forces you play the scale in half like this. So let's just go up to eight draw. That's a good start. Six blow, six draw, seven draw, eight draw. And go back down and just keep playing that. And the thing is, if this is dragging on you, it's technique. You've got to relax. You've got something pinched going on. You're pulling too much air. I promise you, if you can't get these holes to come out right, it has to do with you've got to put your air in check and the embouchure. Just relax a little bit. So you got that kind of chop. And then coming from the nine blow, let's see what I want to do. I guess down to seven. Just taking the four top notes and going nine blow, eight blow, eight draw, seven draw, and going back up. Not that I know of. Um, I think you would want the, the overblow to play that minor. You need the half step in. No, there's no substitution that I know. I mean, you can just play the seven, you know, or play um, – so the overblow is on the six right there, the equivalent of the three draw half step. No, and you're really, I'm not the best dude to ask this kind of stuff, but I I end up playing here more. Here's what I do. I end up just playing this, this major pentatonic. Um, I do know how to overblow that. I mean, I could go, I could start on an overblow and play to seven draw. So seven overblow, seven draw, which is the equivalent of, that three draw area. Did I go to seven draw? Yeah. Yeah, so seven draw is like the three draw. So you're playing that little part of like the juke. Essentially, by the way, this this major stuff, this man, back to the topic and I'll we'll finish that thought, but the major pentatonic stuff is, that's juke. You're just playing, oh, somebody just wrote it. I, yeah. Story of my life. Yes. You're just playing juke. So if you can't play ju the juke riff, you need this. But we're talking about up top. Let me show you another creative way to, to practice this. Um, play the octaves. And, you know, I leave out the six draw because that's an ugly split. I leave it out. It's just how I'm just sharing how I play this exercise. So I play three, six, blow to seven, draw, three, draw. And then I move up to eight, draw, four, draw. And then I blow there. Oh, no, I don't. I go up and blow one octave up. I guess that is eight, four, blow. Yeah, eight four blows the next octave, and then the next one up. Uh, I suck at this six nine blow. It's hard to think of this in the moment. You don't need. Because the equivalent, the second octave that I'm playing is that seven and three draw. It's equivalent to that three draw. Like, so you're kind of getting the same effect. I'm just starting on the root note here. Right? I'm just bypassing that um, six draw, the three draw full step on the bottom. Took a while to get that out. Yeah, it sounds bluesy in a run. Look. Uh, what I'm trying to do today is give beginners and perhaps inter people that are sort of like intermediate players on the bottom, but they're not using the high end, use the high end. 
it's just a beautiful place to be. I'm, I'm not going to stay on too much longer today. I'm just going to play a little bit of these blues here. <laughs> Cross harp, yeah. C harp, G track. I should show you this one. Yeah, let's do that. Last one. I'm gonna give you this last little cool looping riff in cross harp, and then I'm gonna check out. For the day, it's six blow. Somebody might wanna maybe, maybe somebody could just type this in the live chat, please. Somebody, if you would. So I can just call it out. Six blow, six draw. I think we're going all the way up in order here in the major pentatonic. Six blow, six draw, seven draw, to eight draw, to eight blow, then go back down. Eight draw, seven draw, six draw, six blow. And if you play it in, in the right timing, you're going to get that nice little riff coming out. Um, so anybody write it? Come on, somebody hit me with it. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Six blow, six draw, seven draw, eight. I'm looking at the bottom one first. I don't know why, but I am. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. That looks good. I think that looks right. Yep. They all look good. All right. That's it. That's what I got. As I always say, I'll be back soon. Thanks for hanging out today. Hope you guys have a great day.